Good morning, good morning, good morning, YouTube. How is everyone doing on this Sunday morning? What's up, what's up? I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Yes, it has. Guys, I have been just so totally busy. Um, As you guys know, I'm no longer over the road anymore. I am now a local driver here in Atlanta. Yep, I am driving local. No more over the road. No more working for the Serbias or the Russian companies out of Chicago or anything like that. No, I'm just local right here in Atlanta. Um, look, I had to get on here this morning because I wanted to talk about um, something that I've been seeing um, on the news um, about, uh, is it J Javion McGee? Um, the guy, the truck driver that they found um, dead in Henderson, North Carolina. Um, so I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos I've been watching the news about this, um, and there's a lot of unanswered questions. Um, some believe he may have committed suicide. Um, some believe it must, may have been a lynching or something like that. Um, but I, I don't see no one asking the real questions, the tough questions um, that could answer what really happened. Um, where's his cell phone? His cell phone and who he talked to last could be the puzzle to what happened to him. Um, the truck had a tracker. His ELD is um, let, was, could have been part of the investigation to let them know, you know, if he was running on his maybe personal conveyance or whatever the case may be. Um, he could have been on the phone chatting with friends or saying something. Like, I, I, I know we can't say um, that he did not talk to anyone on September 10th, leading up to the day that they found him on September 11th. And we all as truckers carry a cell phone. It's, it's almost damn near mandatory. You gotta have a cell phone. And if they did not find any cell phone, then, I mean, apparently he was robbed and could have been killed. If you don't find no cell phone, there got to be a cell phone with him somewhere in the truck, something. But And I know he talked to someone that day. I can't just believe that on September 10th, he talked to absolutely no one other than going to the Walmart to buy a rope. Um, so I, I, I think that they, the investigation, the investigators, and the police and all of them that's um, investigating his uh, cause of death is they must not be doing their jobs correctly. Can't be. Um, I just wonder, like, a lot of times when we are in uh, different states delivering, picking up, and we're single, you know, we, we, you know, males and the females, you know, we got the apps on our phone where we communicate, social media, uh, things of that nature. I would check the social media, see if he posted anything, um, you know, just stuff like that. My personal opinion, I don't think he killed himself. Just, I, I, I don't think so. There's just too many loopholes. There's just no details, not enough details. Um, 
their own surveillance footage that they showed was him at Walmart. Um, they didn't show him walking to the woods by himself as they say he was seen walking to the woods by himself, but they didn't show. The only thing they showed was him at Walmart buying the rope. Um, so yeah, I, I just, there's just a lot of un answer questions that need to be answered um, and too many loopholes here and I don't understand what's the big cover up now that now that's the main question what is the big cover up if someone got killed in your city you find justice for the victim point blank simple and, and, and maybe you could share his story with other truck drivers so that the new truck drivers coming along know what not to do and what to do. Um, I've delivered in Henderson, uh, North Carolina, at that particular Walmart um, plenty of times. I usually, because you have to drop your trailer when you deliver there. Um, and then you go and you park. But there is a parking lot. I want to say what I what I will say. I don't remember the particular parking lot that he parked in. That dirt parking lot. I don't remember that. I remember going somewhere like across the street from the Walmart and parking or something like that. It's been a minute, but I want to say I went like across the street and park. That's what I want to say, but I don't remember going a half a mile down the road to no dirt lot or anything like that. I don't remember that. So, um, but yeah, um, the big question I would I would ask is, um, where's his cell phone? Can you not check his cell phone records? Like, what really happened? And what's the big cover up? Why, why, why are y'all covering this up so much and not letting us know what really happened and giving us all the details? That's my question. Um, that's what I was wondering. So I look forward to more details later. Um, I'm not going to keep rambling about it. I was, I just had to get on here and share that. Um, if y'all got any questions, any comments, please comment. Let me know what you guys think. Put make give me your opinion. I would like to know. I would like to hear. Um, am I right for thinking like this? Am I right for thinking that you know there should be some information in, in his cell phone? Who did he sp speak to uh, leading up to his death? Like, ain't that something that we all would want to know? Um, but, you know, let me give, shoot a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, other than that, I hope everything is going well with all my subscribers, everybody that watch me. I want to thank you guys for always leaving your comments and subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um... I'm going to try to get back into making more videos about what's going on in the trucking industry. Also, remember, I am a trucker. However, my YouTube channel is not only just for trucking. Sometimes I may get on here and ramble about something else outside of trucking. Or I may get on here and be on vacation and just be on here while I'm on vacation. Never know. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, everybody enjoy your Sunday. I hope everything go well for everybody. And please like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And looking forward to talking to you guys another time. All right. Peace.